The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God to salvation. This is what we read in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 where Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God to salvation for the Jews first and then for the Gentiles. God's word is amazing. It impacts lives and it gives purpose to lives. About two Sundays ago, a man from the Gideon's ministry came to our church and he related the story of a man in South America who had grudge and hatred against his abusive father to the point that he wanted to kill his father. He did not have means to do so, therefore he decided to join the Armed Forces Academy to become an officer, to achieve a gun, and then to do what he was thinking. On the day of graduation, men from the Gideon's ministry come and distribute this New Testament to these new officers. When reaching him, the man from the Gideon's ministry said, whenever you make an important decision in your life, make sure that first read this book. The man takes these words into his heart and he starts reading this New Testament. And for a season, he decides not to harm his father. But as he continues to read the Word of God, it impacts him so much that he gives his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. He not only forgives his father, but he asks the forgiveness of his father for himself. What an amazing story. This man now in South America serves Jesus Christ and preaches the word of God to a thousand, impacting many, many like him. God's word changes lives. By reading it, the word of God says, I hid your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. And therefore, it changes our lives and it protects us from any sin that comes our path. It clears the way for us because we also read, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's word is indeed the power of God to salvation. In 1980, I received portions of the scriptures. The Gospel of Matthew was part of it. And when I started reading the Word of God, I came to the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, where in the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ we read, You have heard that it was said to love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for those who hate you and despitefully use you. For me, it was very, very hard to digest that. It took 10 long years, in fact, but it did impact my life. It did change the course of my life. It gave purpose to my life when, on the 14th of October, 1990, finally I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and decided that I will be the follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. It impacts lives. God changed my hateful heart into a loving heart, just like it changed the life of this man in South America, who is now impacting many other lives for the glory of Jesus Christ. Read the Word of God. It is very, very important for Every decision that we make, there is a consequence. If we make decisions based on this word, the consequence of that is to the glory of God and to a change in the lives of many people, including the lives of us personally and the lives of everyone in our own family, in our neighborhood, in our country, in the world. That is what Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior said, Go ye therefore and make disciples of all ethnic groups and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them whatsoever I have commanded you. And see, I am with you even to the end of the age. 
God never leaves us. God's Word is His power, His complete guide for our living. By reading it, not only we are blessed, but also we produce that blessing to many people around us. May the Lord bless you as you think of reading it for yourself and knowing that God can change your life. To the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen.